love me! All of a sudden, she breaks loose from her guards and rushes at you. In your court dress, you are unarmed. You grow up for a weapon and, um, and find only a heaven golden orderway which you hurl in her direction. Your missile flies wide of its mark. Before you have a chance to do anything else, your personal guard steps into action, cutting the woman down before she can endanger you. Her lifeless body lies bleeding on your carpet. Clean that up! <laughs> I need to take a drink. Ugh. Even though I suck at voice acting, voice acting is very straining for you. Full chords. I'm so sassy. I'm so sassy. Let us save. You close your eyes and learn to feel the magic inside you. You practice using small amounts of magic and feeling that power outside yourself. You're meant to summon up magical energies to strike the nearby ground so that you can learn to send someone else use someone else's spell scene. Hi Fabian! Welcome to the stream. You have unlocked a new outfit. As you walk in one day in the gardens, you hear a strange sound and look up to see an owl flying, flying overhead. A single dry leaf flutter in its talons. That's funny, I thought owls were nocturnal. I guess I was wrong. When you return to the castle, your father is, a, is waiting for you. There is a woman here to see you. She wishes crown funding for a project. Thank you for seeing me. Your Highness, I... I come on the behalf of the people. I, I, I wish to build a, a hospital where any citizens affected with this seed can be brought for to the internet. Putting all the sick people together, wouldn't that make them in die even faster? We're not interested. You're an idiot. <laughs> We have a new outfit! Woo! I'm totally Sailor Moon! Yeah! Look at it! Sailor Moon! More magic! By concentrating, you can create a wave of discontent with panics or enrages or enrages animals in the area. You learn to create a blade of solid light, which you can wield as a sword to slice through flesh and stone alike. You learn to direct a beam of searing light through the end of your staff, burning whatever you point at. Beam! By concentrating, you can create a wave of discontent with panics, confuses, or enrages of other people around you. Remember that the festival of the good lady is approaching. There will be public celebrations for the commoners, followed by a grand gala for the, no the nobility. As queen, you will be expected to lead the procession and take part of the cer ceremonial planting, possibly giving a speech. However, since you're not yet crowned, it is not required, and it may not be safe to expose you to the public. What do you mean, not safe? Outside the castle, you are less well protected. If anyone means you harm, think of it now, decidedly. There's a letter for you as well. 
It's from Brioni! I went to school with her, but she's a couple of years older than me. Her mother is the Duchess of Mead. She's complaining that her mother still won't let her come home for the holidays. Apparently her uncle Kevin has been acting strangely lately and shouting at shadows. She's bored and looking for adventure. Well, I don't have any any to say her. I have plus now. But I need more magic! <laughs> more magic! Yeah. You practice reading words whose letters have been arranged in reverse order. The simplest of transpositions. Which anyone literally can puzzle through if they try, but sometimes useful to hide information on. Uh. shape light into the images of things that are far away or things that don't exist at all. You learn to create powerful explosions of light, burning through, burning those caught within and blinding others who look at it. Today is the procession and planting for the festival of the good lady. Will you be leading the raid? If you have any concerns about your safety, please stay here. Oh, thanks, challenged. <laughs> I never did get that. <laughs> I'm a bit daft, you know. People will, reco will recover from disappointment. If we lose you, there's no recovery. I will parade and make a speech. I'm not afraid. I'm going to be the best parade leader ever. Hi, little girl. You prepare your best gown for the occasion, then walk slowly through the town with your attendants. It would not be appropriate for you to wear a sword, but you do not want but you do walk with a sturdy golden scepter that's taller than you are. You can tell from the exciting murmurs around you that the people are impressed with your queenly appearance. At the end of the route, you help the priestess turn over the earth for the new tree to be planted. After the blessings are read, you hold up your hands and call for silence so that you can speak. My affectionate greetings to you all, and my thanks, for it is the people that make this do domain great. We're, we are here today to celebrate the gift of the good lady and the promise of fertility and new birth. Winter always comes, but winter is followed by spring. Each of us faces hardships, but we grow back stronger than ever. Now is the time for new beginnings, and for my beginning, as your queen. Your words are met with great applause. The procession regroups to return to the castle. I didn't die! Woo! I have been here, Fabian. I have been working and been plenty busy. You wander through the parts of the castle where other people rarely visit, but find little expense except spiderwebs. Yuck. Yay, yeah, you know death. Exactly. Let's see.
You close your eyes and call out when you detect your mentor casting a silent spell beside you. You learn to detect ongoing enchantments, such as blessed weapons that can, be, that can do magical damage. You learn to tell the difference between different kinds of magical signatures so that you can tell roughly what a spell you detect is meant to achieve. You expand your magical perception to give you some idea of when a detected spell was cast from and how long ago. You learn to detect the, the latent power that signifies a lumen even when he or she is not actively working magic. Let's go to the party! Let's go to the party! Are you ready for the grand ball? I've never been more ready. All the nobles in the domain are here to see you. E there go. Cool. You finish dressing, dressing and descend the stairs to make a grand entrance. All around the rich and powerful pause in their activities to gaze upon you, ruler of them all. You let your eyes rest upon each in turn as you have been taught, impressing upon them that you are not a child but a cool. Your father waits for you at the bottom of the stairs and offers you your arm. First dance is for us. He guides you gently across the he guides you gently around the dance floor, never rushing you. It's fun to dance with your father, but the look in his eyes are, is so sad. After this, you must choose your own partner. There are a number of men who hopes to catch your eye. The Duke of Kegel alone has brought three eligible sons, all near your age. You look around the room at all your possible partners, which is to say everyone. No one may begin dancing until you do. You can pick whoever you want and you will not be denied. <sighs> I usually pick this one. Or this one. But that has never worked for me. So, let's pretend that we are trying to get the husband. You approach Lindley, the second son of the Duke of Kegel. He's about two years older than you, and, he's always, and he was always nice to you at school. He bows to you with great courtesy, and you begin to dance. Dancing with a real partner feels quite different from dancing with your father. You knew him, knew his steps like a part of you. Now every move is a mystery. Unfortunately, you lose track of which steps you're supposed to do when and trip over your own feet. Between the dancers, there is time for the guests to mingle, chat, and sample tiny bits of exquisite food. You interact, you interact comfortably with your peers, leaving a wise word in every ear. During a lull in the music, Banyan, the Duke of Marie, taps an elegant fingernail against the wine glass. Letting the clear note ring out through the room. Yeah, I know, Ank. Welcome, to stream. If I might have your attention, I believe we should offer our compliments to our lovely hostess. Not only does she protect our borders, but she has begun to address the long standing problems of a shortage of heirs. My sister is proud to do her duty. As, of course, are others, such as myself and our lovely new You can almost hear the chorus of eyebrows being raised. He's trying to suggest that he and I have some sort of romantic, uh, romantic arrangement. If I don't deflect that, everyone will sh be sure it's true. May I have this dance, fair lady? Certainly. He pulls you close, his hands possessive of your waist, as the orchestra swings back into motion. His head above your His head above yours angles down to murmur words that you hope no one else can. 